So now my personality is starting to sort of dwell on, you know, the shadow, how bad it could be, you know, what's going to be in there, you know, what sort of awareness, you know, what will awareness find if I bring it to bear in there? You know, the usual sort of personality mind mind games, to put it polite, politely. But obviously the mind gets hold of this and says, well, if I just do that and release the shadow, then I'll be free of it. It doesn't really work like that. It works in the moment. It's like you can have the intention to do that. But the, the real proof is in, in the next the next moment you're fired up with anger or the personality is kind of overtaking you, <clears throat> that you, you catch it in that moment. And, you know, at the next time something comes up and is painful that you realize, oh, I'm facing this in a way that I don't normally, I normally run away from it. So we're back to this sort of question of practice and future, practice equals future, where in fact it happens in this moment and in this moment and in this moment. That's interesting. Um, so this is why talking about this is so difficult because I'm trying to describe this and then, you know, you or people say, well, how can I get it? Quite naturally, <laughs> as I used to. Um, and I'm saying, A, well, I can't give it to you. B, you can't <laughs> make it happen. The best that I can give you or someone in your position is the experience of this now. The start of our talk this morning was about how you left here kind of on a high and then you lost it. But at least if you have that experience now, in this moment, you're experiencing that kind of awareness, that mm. level of awareness. I think maybe the best that can happen is a memory of that awareness can kind of take root and be awakened well it's happened before in one of these talks hasn't it that i've just almost you know just had a slight opening and just definitely yeah, yeah. and it is that is the taste of the awareness comes or yeah you know. and then of course it went and that's fine that's what happens until it doesn't <laughs> what can i do for you what good is this is it just like dang dangling a carrot in front of you that you can never have yeah is it kind of like cruel? You know? It isn't because, you know, it does at different times, I get different insights, different memories or different experiences, mm. you know, of oneness. Right. One, one thing that was recent, useful recently was I had a thought and I remember just going, what on earth was that? It was something like, if I do X or if Y happens, then I'll impress, you know, her or they'll be impressed. And it was just a real insight that there's times when I have those thoughts and I just think, where's that come from? Who's that? That's nothing to do with me. And this sort of, you know, model of the personality really explains that. You yeah. Know? And I, again, I can, I can see things, see how I'm being or just see what I'm thinking, see what this personality called Matthew as opposed to the character called Matthew, is like. I guess it gives me a choice about how to be in a situation rather than just being like a robot who, you know, you press the button and it responds in, you know, a pre-programmed -pro way. Which is a good symbol of what, what this is. I mean, uh, if you've heard of George Gurdjieff, he talked in those terms of automatons and that, that man is an automaton, that he's like a robot. And he's... And you've just described this going beyond that so you're not running on programs which i would call from the personality you're acting um from outside of those now when i say you're acting once again it's not you acting it's not your choice it's it's life because there is only life in the end to summarize kind of what you said it could sound like um you're getting life skills which is making you effective, which is basically coming back to kind of... Uh... I'm glad you made this point because the question of what I'm getting from this, yeah. I mean, I know this isn't the point, but this is, they are benefits. Let's, yeah. let's get this clear. They, to me, I see them as, you know, they're, they're parts of the journey, you know, maybe to living beyond personality. But they have great effects, you know, in, in the personality or in my life in personality as well. You know, they're bonuses, maybe. 
Well, I would say the bonuses come outside of the personality bit because when the awareness is there, the personality is not in charge. So it's not the personality that's really benefiting. If this is, if anything of this is happening and trickling through, it's definitely into not your benefiting life, the personality. Exactly, it's the personality that's being undermined in those moments for as long as that lasts. You know, that's good. But still, I'm still saying. It sounds like a description in the end of almost like what they would call life coaching or um, what's personal that called? Development. Personal development, yeah. And of course, and self-help. And of course, that's not what this is. But on the way, it's strange that it can look like it because you can become more effective or even more powerful, more creative, whatever. As a consequence of the work we've done. That I, you know, my life has transformed in a way that works much better for me. So it's mm. like doing a personal development course. Yeah. I mean, maybe I should brand it as. Something. I was going to say. I was going to say. Jeff. You see, that's why those courses, if you're into selling, are easy to sell because, it, you know, it's like give me something that's going to make me feel better. That's going to make my life work better. All you've got to do is this: sign up, and people are going to benefit from it. This is so um, opposite to that. It's like, yeah, I'm going to take... If you come here, listen to these videos, read the books, I'm going to take away everything that you think you All are. your hopes and dreams. And and, uh, and who, who wants that? You know, it's talk about a filter. I mean, there have been times when you've shown me things or I've seen things about myself that, you know, are just really uncomfortable. Yeah, and I wouldn't be fulfilling this role if that didn't happen. You know, I've I've sort of pretty much ended a relationship or two end relationships. I mean, I think we mentioned one in the book that just weren't working for me. Yeah. Um, and again, I mean, that's not something that you particularly want to look at in life, is it? You wouldn't have done that before. No, no. So they are on well, top of everything else. You get to lose relationships. <laughs> But well, I mean, you're losing relationships that are not serving yeah, that's you. Yeah, that's, that's what. That's right? relationships that actually say things we don't like. I've got a friend who's um, getting divorced from his wife, and the way you know he tells it, she was quite abusive, and it's not something that our personalities really want to, you know. For example, see see these negative sides in ourselves. I mean, I, I you know, let these friends walk over me to a degree. You don't get any of that manipulation and coercion put on you here never anything remotely approaching it <laughs> but but what you're being offered is the big prize and what's the big prize to refine the natural state which is who you actually are without this this covering of the personality so yeah it's it's a strange construction isn't it there's so much on offer which is the end of suffering but what that entails you um seeing and facing is is enormous and what most most of you doesn't want to face so in terms of um <laughs> something to sell this is a disaster because it's everything that the personality doesn't want so the only way this gets transmitted is to people who have be us so exasperated or um, have seen through their personality enough to know there's something else there is another potential another way of living that exists and some people for whatever reason seem to know about it and have found it and it helps to hear those arguments those uh, discussions about what does happen beyond personality the what is our potential and how it comes about the problem then comes that great i i'm up for it where do i get it what you know sign on the dotted line and of course then the problem is you it doesn't work like that and unlike any other type of course um there are no stages and no practices so it does seem very um kind of impossible somebody wrote to me recently and said i'm really going to take that on board and try and implement that and practice that and i <laughs> and i said something like of course but don't forget that you can't do anything to make this happen and then he said whoever designed this must have been a uh, evil <laughs> because 
<laughs> you know, you get you say it. Yeah, yeah, okay, I want it. Free, I want to wake up. And then, oh, by the way, there's a catch. Nothing you do is going to make it happen <laughs> because the whole setup is that the thing that wants you to get it is um, it's also the thing that prevents you from... Yeah, and keeps you in it. But it does help to hear these arguments and open yourself to them. Not because you are taking concepts and learning them, but only if they awaken in you the memory of that understanding in yourself. That is the only thing I'm, I'm uh, aware that can be done. Not that I can give it to you, but I can light the spark that is in you that can experience this and know this. Um.